phone here, how are you all doing today? Right, today's little lesson on the old wee string cigar that was the is one that I've been requested, um, and it's actually one that I do in my set. It's a Doobie Brothers a song, and it's called Long Train Money. Now, this is my interpretation of the song, not exactly how the Doobie Brothers do it, because they do lots of guitar -y bits down here. We've only got three strings, and it's me doing it. So, um, I do this sort of version. It's, um, it's a simple one, really. You could actually play it all with one finger. Um, the chords are E, or E minor, um, A, uh, they play an A minor, but we just play an A on here. And then the, sort of like the chorus bit without love, is C and B. Well, it should be a B minor, but we play a B, and it's back to the E minor. Um, as I say, you can play it with one finger. Um, I will first off show you with the one chord, which is the E minor up here. Um, and then you've got your A, and it, that's basically the verse. It's E minor, it's mainly all E minor. And then you've got the A minor, or an A. And then the, the rundown is C, B, E minor. So what you need is you need your three string tuned up to open a G, which is top string G, middle string D, bottom string G. Um, I'm going through my trusty Vox, and I am in the UK 80s setting. Um, gain's about halfway, volume is just about 10 o'clock, and tone is at 12 o'clock. In fact, the gain is about 1 o'clock. And obviously a little bit of reverb. So you can hear the reverb. Let um, me put a little bit more reverb on it. But... Um, so what I do is I'll run through it uh, a couple of verses because it is basically the same all the way through. It's like you can do sort of lo lots of sh light and shade. Um, you can do bits of palm muting. There's all dim sort of techniques you can do. It's one of those ones. Again, it's a feely song. Um, it's how you want to do it. I'd say this is my interpretation of it. This is not exactly how the Doobie Brothers do it, as you will notice. Um, but it seems to go down well wherever I play it. Um, so I'll play it with the chord, with the one chord that I play up here. Um, do it that way. And then I'll do it with the open down here and see if we can do it with that. Um, so I normally start with the E minor, which is up here. I say that's with the E minor played up on the top here. I say you could play it with an E down on the ninth fret. It would be 
bit high and like jumping around, but you could do. Down around the corner, See, so you can play it down at the ninth fret with the E at the ninth fret. Um, so that's for the one finger, guys. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll break it down. As I say, the chords you need are E or E minor, A, should be an A minor, but we're on three strings, so we're playing the A, we're playing the C, the B, and then back to the E. So the E minor um, is second fret middle string, fourth fret top string, bottom string open. The A is second fret all strings. And the little run down which is the C, which is fifth fret all strings. Fourth, fourth fret all strings. Back to the E minor. And what I do is when I'm doing the E minor up here, Every now and again, I lift my finger, the second fret, middle string, I lift my finger off. And again, I sort of lift my finger off on the A chord as well, sort of mutes it slightly. If you want to do it with the one finger, um, the E, you're down on the ninth fret. Takes it up a pitch, obviously, but it's still the same. doing with this hand is a bit of muting, sort of up and down strokes, a bit of muting. So a bit of mute, palm muting. As again, I'm not using a pet I'm just using my finger, I just hold my fingers like that and just use it's not as you were holding a pet I'm just using my nail. It takes a little bit of getting what used to using that because it, you know my fingers have got a bit hard there, so of course I'm used to using that plectrum. Um, right, I'll come to a close-up so you can see what I'm doing up on the neck. So here we are at a close-up. Right, so as I say, with the E minor chord up on the top end here, it's the 2nd fret middle string, 4th fret top string and the bottom string open. And I just lift my finger off there. Say that finger, second fret, middle string. And then the A is all strings, second fret. And I'm sort of lifting it like, you know, every now and again, look, see? And then when you come to the rundown, it's on the C, which is the fifth fret, all strings, fourth fret, all strings, and then back to the E. La 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 So this is my interpretation of how I do the song. I think when the Doobie Brothers do it, they do that without love. I think only a couple of times. I sort of do it four times to bring myself back into it. Um, and do lots of light and shade, you know, with the vocals. You know, the first one I'm sort of just doing. 
round the corner Half a mile from here And then when I get to the Without love, without love, without love Once I've done them When I come to the, the next verse with um, uh, You know I saw Miss Lucy I sort of go up a key so, You know I saw Miss Lucy Down along the tracks Lost the home and family Won't be coming back Without love Where would you be? So it's all sort of light and shade, it's sort of, again, it's how you feel that you want to do a song. This hand, as I say, I'm just doing a have palm muting, up and down strokes. So sort of that down and then... A couple of, a couple of up strokes. You sort of really can't see it, but I'm palm muting this part here, with this part of the hand. Palm muting it. And also, when, when you're doing the palm muting, sort of release the strings up here, so you're not holding it all the time. You're releasing the strings as well. So you can see me... I'm not lifting off it, it's exaggerating, but I'm just showing what I'm doing. I'm sort of lifting my fingers off as I'm holding when I'm doing that to your chords. Just gives you a bit of feel to the song. Um, so yeah, so it's sort of quite simple as I say. There's only sort of like four chords in it. You can do it if, if you're down on the ninth fret, just with the E down here. Um, you have to jump up to the A up here, but that's only doing it one finger. So there goes that you can only do it with one finger. You can play this song with one finger, just 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 the same. Okay, I'll sit back down again. So there we go, long train running, the Doobie Brothers. As I say, it's not the Doobie Brothers version. This is my version. This is the Mark LeBone version. Um, so, you know, if you listen to their version, they've got a couple of guitars in it. There's quite a lot going on. Um, but it's just a great song, you know. Do it in this sort of way, this rocky way. Everyone loves it. You know, so I do do this in my, in my set. Someone did request this one, but as I say, this is my version of how it's done, not exactly the Doobie Brothers. But you get the gist, don't you? So, okay, that's it for me. Don't forget, if you need the chord sheets of this song and the chords to all the other songs that I've done, just send me a link to the email below and I will send them over to you as a PDF. Okay, Mark LeBone, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now. Ciao.